I forgot the name of the movie, but there's a movie where she plays a gangster that got uh that got set, like a sex change or something happened. Oh, no. He started off as a guy that he turned like uh, the first 15 minutes turned into Michelle Rodriguez. That could be the most fitting role for her I've ever wow. heard of. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, My Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, Michelle Rodriguez I, I came just... out lately and said that. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's cringe to race swap characters. Yep. She's yeah, tight. She She's if you want to make black superheroes or black characters, yep. then make your own. Do not keep stealing from white people. Yeah, which was a base interview. From her. That that blurb oh. came out a few years back. It just you just became popular. Oh, just resurfaced again. Resurfaced. Oh. Yes. Nice. Either way, it's based. I think uh, Gary I'm mentioned it, it, that it's like a resurfaced thing that he's heard it before. Yeah, I'm fine nice. with that. So I really, I really want to share this. You guys, like, I, I, this came across my feed. It was from the account, the, the real parents of Loudoun County. Um, this oh, is yeah. obviously something to talk about on uh, oh, on Rumble, not on, on YouTube. Oh, because <laughs> it, it has the word nigga in it. Finally, I can say the <laughs> N-word. Uh, yeah. Oh, what is this? <laughs> so like, this was... Yeah, this was they, so the Kaiser Permanente had shared basically a document that was uh, it was about the the recovery of vaginoplasty, uh, and th so this this account happened to highlight some of the more like graphic areas of this, and, and not necessarily graphic, but also like the more real areas of the recovery, um, and just having to point out that it doesn't give you a cervix. You will never pee normally. You will have to dilate the rest of your life, um, which means Ugh. basically keeping the wound open. Um, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. an open wound in between your legs is all it these, is. These right. So in this, it, what it, I will say, cool. yeah. like body flesh and everything else. Yeah. What what I will say, and because I don't, I don't give a flying fuck what people do with their body. I think it's important to to, to bring these things to light and talk about them because there there's things that are not talked about regularly that. I think are important for people to know. Um, again, I'm not a medical expert, but highlighting these things does no one any harm. It just like, it's putting this information out there. Um, so, and this is directly from Kaiser Permanente. This is not from like, like some random slideshow that I put together. Right. Yeah. You know? um, yeah. And a lot of times this is that they don't tell them before they go into all this, before they make these kind of decisions either. Right. And that's the problem with that. You hear that from detransitioners all the time. I did not know it was going to be like this. They did not tell me that this is how it was going to be. They promised all these glorious things. It was going to be beautiful. It was going to be wonderful. I was going to be so happy. And what happens a couple of years down the road or, you know, if they live that long, that's they the other thing. There was an interview with a guy. I think Matt Walsh is what is a woman had that guy on. Oh, it was yeah. like, I've got all these medical problems now. It'll be a miracle if I live another five years because of what's going yeah. on, because of what all this, all these surgeries and all these hormones and everything else did uh, me. Like this, Jordan this Peterson wrong. had the best. Jordan Peterson had the best interview ever of one of these people, and he he talked for two hours with them. These de -tran transitioner, and uh, it's kind of harrowing and sad and depressing. But you should watch it. It's on his channel. Yeah, yeah no. Tim Poole um, had a girl on. Tim Pool had a girl on a couple, like a year ago or something like that, and did a whole two-hour thing with her too, going through her whole backstory on all of that. And it was funny too because it's one of those things. We can... Oh yes, I agree with you on that one. But it's, sometimes he's got sometimes he's got good guests. Um, we'll but see. it was one of those, it was one of those things where they talked about that. We always talk about the social indoctrination about this being a social contagion. She flat out said she was a tomboy. She got on Tumblr. And then all of a sudden, all these people were in yeah. there. Well, maybe because you're a tomboy, maybe you're actually supposed to be a man. Maybe you're supposed to actually be this. You're supposed to actually be that. And like within a five minute uh, meeting with a nurse practitioner, she was able to get twice the amount of testosterone that she was actually even supposed to start on. They had no problem just writing the script for her, doing all of this kind of stuff, you right. know, and it's, I mean, it, it made her depression even worse. The problem was she had a mental issue that wasn't treated properly. Instead, they decided to create they decided to do all this other experimental, yeah. you know, Frankenstein surgery shit on her instead. Mm -hmm. Right. And, well, and let, me, was was just, let me real quick, guys, let me, real, let me let me just say like that. And I, I think it's important that because there's there's people in our community, the people that we respect and talk to that have have gone through years of therapy. And like they are I, there are people yep. who um, that I think are genuinely like. Like that, this, like this sort of care, whatever, um, is, is something that they 
want and need. Um, I, I, I like, I, again, I don't care how people, I don't think, but I, what I don't agree with is when we push this as some normal way to approach this. Um, and I've talked to a few people um, and I'll be specific. I've, I've talked to a few people about how that this, this sort of thing takes really years to, to sort of get through. Um, and, and I'm glad that Kaiser Permanente put this out there, but what I'm not glad about is that it's not being talked about in a more mainstream way. Like if like a mainstream media picked this up and we're like, Hey, Kaiser Permanente put out this thing. And it's really important for you to know that, um, you know, your urine stream will, will be permanently changed and will not be a steady single stream. Um, over you know yeah. the dilation you know for for the first month you're gonna be you're being taking medication four times a day in order to keep you know your 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 new vagina open then month two yeah. three times a day and then month 13 you're still gonna be doing one to two times a week and like they should also be coming Our- with testimonials about how like if you if you miss one you run the risk of these things closing and, yep. or, you know, the vaginal depth becoming, you know, shorter. And it says right here, extremely difficult to create more depth if vaginal canal narrows, narrows or shortens. Like you miss a couple medications. Yeah. Like, right. kind of fucked. That's because your body's trying to heal from the fact that you cut a hole in it. Right. Right. Loft, you know, anything be called recovery where you have to use a speculum I, to uh, keep it open for the rest of your life. That's not no, recovery. It just feels like that's an open wound. That's a, I mean, Yes, I know it's a slang term for it, but it truly is a gash. No, of course. It is. It feels like we're talking to children about things that they don't understand that we're like, we have to like placate their uh, their oh, ignorance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you talk to, when you're, you're like, like the whole explanation that you just went on, I appreciate it, but it's like, can we just say when common sense is common sense and then move on? Like, uh, you know, I understand like, yeah, I understand that like some people are like confused about the biological stuff, but this is getting to the point where it's like, it's almost like um, having to explain that the earth is not flat or some shit. Like, no, I, no, I, I, you know, and I, listen, yeah. I, I'm, I know exactly what you mean. Um, yeah. I'm what I'm saying is, is that like, like there, there are people who I think I are genuinely hope, confused about. I'm friends about with trans people right. and I'm friends with people who've gone through this. I also have I black friends. don't <laughs> care. And I think none of us do. That's what you're trying to say. I, I agree. I agree. Now, well, the issue is those people that I'm personally friends with, I know their experiences and I know that that was the best thing for them to do. And I, well, arguably, because I know, well, I, I, I just, I'm not going to get into it, but it was the it, it apparently was the best thing for them to do at the time and to, to, to still be going through this is like it's helping them. It's and they're, they're you know, they're becoming part of a community and like they're being accepted. But like this is not <laughs> it's not a long term thing. I don't know, man. I I have a hard time. Um, it's the most dangerous time. fad that's ever been introduced into the United States. Yeah, I don't disagree. I, I I don't disagree. Say. Here's my experience. I went through. Uh, I have a I'll lot of. Were... I have a friend. Uh, I'll just narrow it down because I have a lot of these. But I have a friend who was dating a woman who became a man who then became a they who then became a woman. And is now a man. Yeah, were they on a Bud Light cam? And is that well, this is over three years or four years or whatever. Is now a man, but they don't pass as a man. They're just a man. And it's like boom, 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 boom. Like you connect the dots. I know Elliot Page too. So what? You know what it is? These people were all involved in the same, uh, the same friend group, and all of their friends were trans. And they became trans. Well, no, no, no. Like one of them was tra- trans. Then two of them were trans. Then three of them are trans. Then four of them. Suddenly they're all trans. Now they're all reverting back to their original genders. Now, you know, and you know, you know what the common denominator of all this shit is? Anime conventions. White people. Oh. I'm dead oh, yeah. serious. Hi, I'm dead serious. Good to see you, brother. Autistic, autistic hey, Zoomers who go to conventions with their friends 
and they're like, oh, wait a minute, you're trans? Oh, my God, that's so cool. That's I, 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 well, I went to high school. That's the funny like part that, that you yeah. bring up the autistic yeah. aspect of that, yeah. because yeah. that's one of the things they found in the study in England when they shut down all their gender reassignment yeah. surgery clinics right. over there is because it turned out like 60 to 80 percent of the people that they were doing this shit to were actually autistic. And oh. as coming from a guy who has an autistic brother, I got a real fucking problem with that because they're targeting my brother right oh. now, too. Yep, and almost every, I'm dead serious, I'm not naming names, but almost every fucking trans person I personally know in my life is autistic and openly. That's so. because, yeah, openly they're not being treated for autism. They're trying to turn it into this other social contagion bullshit. Well, well it doesn't you know, help that they fact. extended the definition of autism to include, I don't know, everyone. Me? Everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, everybody. no, 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 no. You can get tested. You can get tested. I'm <laughs> autistic as fuck. You can get tested. <laughs> You can get I tested, know, but know, just because you get tested, tested but doesn't mean that the test hasn't been to some at degree to account for some things that are actually normal in a person, but can come off as a little a over little socially enthusiastic. awkward. I mean, just because you're a little I socially awkward know. doesn't necessarily mean you are I autistic. There needs to be a depth more defined thing it's part of the thing with the trans issue too is that instead of trying to fix any kind of problem everybody's looking for a quick fix yeah if i maybe if i change yeah. my, my gender i won't be so weird i'm sorry but we're all weird we're all going to remain weird and it doesn't matter what you do to some degree yeah. being weird is entirely normal yeah nope well I'm i think too that. Th th there hasn't been i mean the real one of the real issues i feel is that we haven't really had a our generation and pre or in, and after hasn't really had any sort of hardship to to overcome, and uh, we've been really care. We've looking. been really um. Uh, Resting your laurels. Yeah. Well. Yeah. The, well, well. No. Uh, I get what. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Um. I call it the uh, Starbucks oh, coffee right. cup uh, syndrome. Remember the dude that was like, ah, oh, they took Christmas off the coffee cup, bro. Yeah. How good is your life that this is your thing? I remember that. Right. This is yeah. your hill no. that you're 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 mad about. And I think Dang. that as people, we tend to want uh, adversity. We want things to overcome and to fight against. Yeah. And when you yep. don't yep. have that, yep. you look for it artificially in different yeah. ways. That's why now there's more races than ever because we need them. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I've said it on Comics Channel plenty of times. Empires fall when they have no outside enemy that can really challenge them. The social issues from within are what caused them to fall. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, until it's, it's ten years human. ago, it, it may even be less. This was a this was a mental disorder, and now we've got, you know, not point zero one percent. It's now gone to like four percent, six percent, because it's a fad. It's a fad. I mean, it is the most dangerous fad that has ever hit the United States. These What's kids scary? are told to be popular. Well, well of the alphabet dangerous fad. Or go yes. to the they team. do they get rewarded. They do get they get rewarded for it too. It's the virtue signal points. That's what they that's what that chick that when she got indoctrinated on Tumblr, that's what she talked about. Every time somebody came out as trans or came out as non-binary or came out as any one of these other things, they got so much praise lauded on them. It was literally like an adrenaline high. They got addicted to the praise, so they just kept going it's farther ego. and farther. Well, because coming out as gay is not fashion is not fashionable anymore. It's breeding. Nope. That's why I refuse to normal. do it. Well, <laughs> well there's also there's a financial there's a financial incentive yes, by please. these companies too. Like Kaiser oh, Permanente yeah. gets of course gets a lot of money for for this stuff. Um, you have a permanent money for life. Customer forever. Yeah. No, but Shad Shags, you're right about. I think you were the first person to say, but everybody was echoing it. Like, there's this. I don't know how else to describe it besides this psychological human in, inherent human uh, condition to 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 strive for some sort of like human rights issue kind of battle. Yeah. And it's like we did it in the sick. You know, we did it. We, we've done it over and over and over again. But at, at, to the point where we are now in society, it's like, well, what else? Everybody's fucking equal in reality. Because they are, but now what are we going to do? We still need human rights because human rights, uh, the human rights agenda is a very inherently human, like we need to overcome something in society. We need, we need to like, we need to sh squash oppression. I can't even describe the psychology behind it, but it's this... straight up is never going to end. It'll be around for a, the next 10,000 years. Well, there will always about... be some sort of oppression that people need to, it'll be invented. 
but people will need to like overcome some sort of invented oppression. Well, and that's why we need to go back to space. It's you just know, the we, human yeah. thing. Yeah. But it's it's more it's more it's not even that it's it's people in in some regard finding their purpose. But the the the, the issue because like it's you put you put people in a room like together they'll find their like their tribe right they'll they'll yeah. find the little minute differences in, in where they belong their their per their it's purpose a tribal thing, yeah right but the depth of that purpose is what's really changed over the past hundred years right um, and it and a lot of it has to deal with like how like like the advances of technology like I mean think about think about how much the world has changed since I mean even like 1930 1940 like our lives are exponentially technology better. Technology invented transgenderism. It did with Tumblr. Well, it, yeah, no, and, that, and and people have admitted as much. Yes, you they know, have. Like, Even fucking like uh, uh, Natalie Wynn or whatever uh, ContraPoints has admitted that Tumblr has created a fuck ton of transgender people. Yep. And and that's yep. the thing is like we we we're just it, it it will never stop because we just want to find our place in this world, our our purpose, like who our people are. And and as soon as you find, but you but the other thing is that we've we haven't been met with enough of a challenge, like enough of a pushback. People have 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 been told you just need to run from pain, you need to run from hardship. And and while that might be true to some extent, um, almost every previous generation has been met with something they needed to overcome in order to to be better next. Like it's okay to set yourself up to be better in the next generation, to set your kids up to be better, but they still need a lesson to learn, some hardship to overcome in some yeah, respect. Yeah, like, like what happens when everybody's transgender and um, the population and dies, and they're looking for the next, they're <laughs> looking for the next human rights thing. Like, what's that going to be? It's going to be something. You, we know for a fact that it's not going to just. We're not going to stop as a ra a human race. Um, pushing like being progressive like that's no, just the thing that I but do. i don't think i don't and here's i'm sorry to interrupt you but i don't think yeah, no, that i don't think that, that we're gonna i think what we're seeing right now is that twitter is such a it, it's such a place that it it echoes things that a lot of people want to hear and like like popular ideas but it the echo chamber that we're seeing with this progressive movement is relatively small even though we hear about it a lot and but i yeah. think as as more and more of it comes out like like this thing from kaiser permanente like i think as more people read this more normies really look into like what it is they're gonna realize like oh this isn't like this isn't sustainable like this isn't yeah, something right. that you just go and do it's not like getting a mole removed right like it's it's something it's major surgery like like can, i can't even wrap my head around oh, the you're need right to permanent surgery. you're right it's right. permanent the same so, boob job. Right. No, exactly. So I don't, I think as, I think as we go along as people, like, I think we're going to see a real spike in this and which is terrible because we're experimenting on young kids. But I think as, as we move forward in the future, we're going to start seeing people kind of fall off of it and it's sort of fade into obscurity because it's not a sustainable model. We're already experimenting on young kids with abortion. Oh, I know. We've been doing it for fucking ever. Yeah, I mean, technically, right. we've been experimenting on young kids since the beginning of time because everything yeah. we do, raising our next generation, is kind of an experiment. But Lofty well, and, yeah. and Shags, you both had good points. The thing is, yeah, this this um, sphere that is doing this, yeah, it's an America problem. The rest of the world does not want any part of the crap we're trying to export right now. The, well, it's a Western, I mean, so lofty, you know. said the progressive ideals are going to always march forward here. Uh, it's not happening in near the numbers it's anywhere else. All, it's it's happening You're right. all across Europe. You just don't hear about it, Brahma. This is an American no, problem. No, no, he's right America about is well, it's a Western he's, problem. He's, he's it's a Western right problem. Nation. He's yeah, Western right. problem, but even most of the Western countries outside of us no, it's not. really aren't pushing it the same no. way we are. Not they may be accepting it to a little bit of a degree, but they are not pushing it the I way misspoke. we are. I misspoke, well, even, right? It's not an Eastern problem. It's a Western problem. And I don't even think it's... You're right. I, I, I'm i just trying to... I'm trying to figure it out because it seems like a problem with, like, our, our fucking, like... I, I went to, like, the genetic code of, like, our species, but I don't... I think you're right. I think it's a cultural thing. Um... Well, do you want to know why? I don't. 
yeah. because because the, the be, it's a Western problem because the rest of the world that that is has bigger issues to figure yeah, out. Exactly, they're they actually they're, have they're, they're real trying battles. To figure out how to put food on their table. They're trying to figure out how to get think fucking about, clean water. Yeah, think about care. the left. <laughs> think about the progressive agenda for climate change. Okay, do you think fucking Africa gives a fuck about climate no. change? No, they're, no. Trying yeah. to, they're trying to drink they're, water they're, today. They're normal. They're God-fearing people because they know if they step outside <laughs> yeah. of that, that they will be like they they, they will die. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Justin Trudeau said we can't have fossil fuels. Oh, I'm sorry, fucking children in Africa, you're gonna have to die because this is why the government sucks. Get rid of it. Yeah. Right? No, and yeah. this is the thing. Right? You hear about that? Did you hear about stuff, that? Well, I was going to say, did you hear about that story? And just to piggyback on what Alafi said, did you hear about that story in, in India where they tried putting in that, that, that green energy plant with all them solar yeah. panels and all the rest of that kind of stuff? And the entire city, like it was some, some uh, Fed guy that came in from India and the entire city revolted and said, no, we don't want that because it doesn't work. It caused flickering lights. They didn't have actual power. They wanted the freaking, they wanted the gas and the oil one because it actually consistently produced power. Yeah. Right. Survive. No, I think and, Matt was trying to make a point too. Yeah, go ahead, Matt. Oh, uh, okay. I guess I can just come up with one. Yes. And I say, um, no, uh, yeah, I guess it goes back to it's, it's not that people inherently want to fight for civil rights is that they want to fight something. It doesn't matter what they just want to rebel to fight.